If you let people's perception of you dictate your behavior, you will never grow as a person. But if you leave yourself open to experience, despite what others think, then you will learn and grow. You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You gotta get it wrong to get it right. No matter how much emotion and feeling you may have or how much hurt you may have, life has to go on. Life doesn't stop mm -hmm. for anybody. So if you don't process that and understand that, you're stuck in whatever time period you got hurt forever. I don't care how good you are in anything, you don't have discipline, you ain't nobody. You're nothing without discipline. Because you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. I don't care if you have to inch your way day by day, even if you have to get down and it hurts and it's hard and nobody can see what you're really going through. If you don't quit, the pit will become your platform. I will try 100 times to get up and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. If I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. You need to make it a habit to start every f***ing day validating yourself, cheering yes. for yourself, because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just gonna throw in the towel. I'm not gonna do that thing. Hell no. If you're standing in front of that mirror, you deserve to feel the support and empowerment and encouragement that you need. You are doing so much every single day that you don't give yourself credit for. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. They say, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? What do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You got to outbind them. You got to get up earlier. You got to stay up later. You got to execute and you got to go from 70 to 120. Lazy people do a little work and think they should be winning, but winners work as hard as possible and still worry if you're being lazy. It's not what they say about you that matters. It is what you say about you that threatens your destiny. You will never be defeated by what they say about you. You will be defeated by what you say about you. You have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. The moment you change the frequency that your tower emits, different things come back to you. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude. You will have good days and you'll have bad days. 
but you will always learn something more or something new and you will learn more overall on bad days than good days. The time is now. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great. People in this world shun people for being great, for being a bright color, for standing out. But the time is now to be okay to be the greatest you. You can't read somebody else's book about some theory on how to do shit. Some guy who sat up in their nice warm office and wrote some book with a nice cup of coffee in the fucking hand. No, I want to see that guy who immersed himself in fucking hell. And he thought about quitting and leaving and his wife and his kids and why am I here? Is it worth it? All this crazy shit and found out a way to get through it. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. I was willing to die doing something that I love. So if you're willing to die to do something that you love, 99% of the time you're going to come out on top. I don't let people tell me what I can and can't do. It won't happen. Don't do this, don't do that. Okay, whatever. Like, it don't matter what they say. Whatever you believe, you go for it. And you got to understand, before you succeed, you must first learn to fail. Like, if you fail one or two times and you stop pursuing your dream, you ain't ready anyway. You know, a lot of us are going through a hard time in life. Some people have been bullied. Some people are just stressed out. Some people are insecure. Some people are fat and overweight. And the world puts a lot of this shit in your mind. If not just you, yeah, you help it. And my whole thing is about, I had to develop a mindset, a mindset that was indestructible. I had to armor plate my mind. When you have nothing is when you need to give. You know, if you're gonna wait till you think you have something, you're never gonna have something of any size or scope. There's something inside the human psyche that when you do what's right and you get outside of yourself, there's something that'll click for you. Learn to work with the people who deserve it, not the people who need it. Because that's the way life works. Life doesn't respond to what we need. Life responds to what we deserve. It doesn't say if you need a harvest, you'll get one. It says, no, if you plant in the spring, you'll get a harvest in the fall. Life, you emulate the end result, not the process. It's the end result is what they see and they emulate that. Before Kobe scored that 61, that day he was practicing. Practice his whole life. Are you willing to put in that sort of commitment? Are you willing to practice the whole life?